Hello guys, uh, welcome once again to Immigrate with Army. Um, we are still talking about you know the Schengen visa because there is actually a lot of things to say about this because I see that you know a lot of people are reaching out to say oh I apply for the Schengen visa or I want to apply I don't know how do I do this how do I do that or you know uh, I was rejected before what am I supposed to do and stuff like that so in this particular video we'll be talking about how you can structure an appeal and the things that you should avoid okay when you are trying to appeal all right so i know that i mean it's not something that is uh, favorable but the truth is that sometimes you apply for schengen visa and then your application is rejected for one reason or the other the good thing is that in most of those cases okay you would receive an official visa rejection letter stating exactly why your application was rejected so at least they would uh, do you that honor all right by letting you know they, it, the, the letter might not really be explicit so they might not go into full details but at least they will give you a hint they inform you that your application has been rejected and then it has like a different reasons why they reject and then they will tick the one that applies in your own case so that you would know maybe uh, you didn't have enough funds or you didn't you know prove your link to your home country or something like that so usually they will tell you the good news is that when your visa application is rejected you can appeal it and they will also state in that letter the timeline within which you can appeal so how do you appeal? Basically, you appeal by writing an appeal letter to say that, okay, I applied, you rejected me, but I'm not satisfied with that reason for this purpose and this purpose and this purpose. And the embassy has to consider that appeal, look at the new information you are providing, and then take a decision. In some cases, it will be approved. In some cases, you will still get a rejection again all right but at least you know we've supported quite a you know a number of people who got rejected and when we looked at the application we felt that that rejection could be overturned so they were actually able to you know get their visa finally approved okay so uh, let's go through the things that you need to avoid when you are drafting an appeal okay so the first thing is you should not submit any new application okay before you get an answer regarding your appeal all right so imagine that you were rejected and then within that period that you can appeal you already submitted an appeal and you have not received a response regarding if the appeal was accepted or not then you go ahead to submit a fresh visa application that case that can you know totally work against you so the right thing to do is that if you have made an appeal you need to wait until you get a response from them okay that's the very first thing now the second thing is that you need to be determined on the purpose of making that appeal and i will explain what i mean when you get a rejection letter they will state in that letter exactly why they are rejecting you so imagine that it's a case where someone submitted false document okay this is a legal ground for visa rejection and in that case even if you write an appeal letter that will not work they would never approve that visa because in the first place you tendered document that were not genuine okay so you need to really judge the reason why you were rejected to understand does can i appeal this or not there are some reasons that cannot be appealed but imagine that it's a case where maybe uh, imagine that you didn't uh, maybe you didn't prove so well that you had a stable job maybe the document that you provided regarding your job uh, didn't really carry that weight and you 
can submit maybe a new support letter from your employer stating you know the terms and conditions of your job that could be a ground for you to appeal because you have a document okay which it's like a new information to add to that previous application so there are some reasons that does not constitute an appeal especially in cases where you know you submitted fraudulent document or stuff like that okay so you need to judge to know if your visa rejection reason you know has a ground for appeal or not okay the third thing is that you need to provide strong argument in your letter so when you are appealing a visa it's not just you submitting new document you need to also draft an appeal letter and maybe that is your case if you need help drafting that kind of letter you can reach out to immigrate with army on instagram so your letter needs to contain strong reasons why that rejection decision should be overturned not just the letter the additional document that you are submitting okay must also support the fact that you want that decision to be overturned all right so i mean imagine writing a letter and then you are saying uh I promise that I will return to my country of residence after my visit. This is not a strong argument. The strong argument is for you to tell them what are the ties that you have to your home country and then to submit document which prove these ties. This is how you provide strong argument in your letter of appeal. Okay? The next thing you should do when you are appealing is ensure that that appeal letter is not too long okay usually an appeal letter should not be more than one page the reason is that no you know no embassy staff or consular staff has that time to be reading the you know three two four letter pages about a decision that you know was already made previously so if you are going to be writing a letter you need to make it very brief but very strong you know such that it's so short but it conveys your strong argu argument as to why they need to approve that visa so please ensure i mean make sure that it's not more than one page if your appeal letter is two or three pages then you need to rewrite it okay all right the next reason or the next thing you can do while appealing a visa rejection decision is to ensure that you are adding document that you didn't submit previously not the same document all right so imagine that you submitted a set of documents so when they are reviewing your appeal they still have that original application you submitted so there is no point duplicating the same document that you provided to them previously you understand so you should only submit improved document or new document that will support your visa application not the same document that you have submitted previously all right now in this case imagine that imagine that the the hotel reservation that you used okay carried a date that has now passed of course you can't use that same reservation you need to do another reservation with fresh dates and then add it to your application that will be acceptable right but if imagine uh, if it's the same document that you had used before there is no point you know using that same document again right so that's that's only logical so ensure that you are only you know submitting documents that are new or that are improved versions of the ones that you used before in the rejection letter that was sent to you there are some instructions that are there for example why they rejected you and what you can do in the appeal the time frame for you to appeal okay also if certain things are not clear to you you can also ask the embassy to give you further information and we've seen cases like that where 
you know, a visa was rejected without, you know, so much information. And what we told the applicant was, okay, send an email to the embassy. They sent an email to the embassy and the embassy said, you know, replied that email with further details as to why the visa application was rejected. And then we were able to act on that. So in some cases, if, you know, if the reason for rejection is not clear, you can demand more information before submitting an appeal. That way, you are taking the right decision and then it will guide you in structuring your appeal. Okay, so guys, this is how uh, you can submit an appeal. These are the things you can do. So whenever your visa, your Schengen visa is rejected, I mean, you can't just, uh, you can't just, you know, stop there. You can actually, you know, go forward and then make an appeal. And in some cases, of course, the visas will be finally granted. So thank you for listening. And I also hope that you were able to get uh, some few information regarding this. And um, we're looking forward to your updates uh, regarding your own specific case. If you've not subscribed to this channel, I think this is a good time to do that. You can also share this video with your friends and your families. Uh, you know, drop a like, uh, click on the like button. Uh, you know, drop your comment. If you have, you know, particular questions, which may not be more or less general questions and you want to reach out, uh, it's best you reach out to Immigrate with Ami on our Instagram handle. Thank you for watching once again. Have a lovely day.